Let me ask you a question. If I offered you $30 million for the company, would you take it? No. Because we see, we see this business going, growing as big as Match.com. And you know how much revenue they're generating? $800 million a year. These three sisters, Aram and Dawoon Kang, who are twins, and Sue Kang, embarked on a fascinating success story by turning down $30 million on national TV with Coffee Meets Bagel. Born and raised in Korea, they moved to the U.S. as teenagers, later creating a dating app born out of their own struggles in love. In 2015, the Kang sisters stepped onto the Shark Tank stage, asking for $500,000 for a 5% stake in Coffee Meets Bagel. Their pitch? A unique dating app leveraging social networks and offering covert conversation starters, like talking about stale bagels. Have you met the man of your dreams? So, um, Aramir is married with the guy that she met long, long time ago. I met my current boyfriend on Coffee Meets Bagel. But things got tense when the sisters played coy about user numbers and disclosed their negative profits, despite a $1 million annual sales. From the million dollars in sales, what will you make? What's your profit? So right now, our profit is negative. All sharks backed out, but Mark Cuban threw a curveball. $30 million for the entire company. Let me ask you a question. If I offered you $30 million for the company, would you take it? The sisters said no. A record rejection on Shark Tank. No. I would not be taking it because we see we see this business going growing as big as Match.com. And you know how much revenue they're generating? $800 million a year. Post-show, their focus was clear. Gain exposure and grow the business without shark help. By 2018, Coffee Meets Bagel had doubled its user base and raised $12 million, proving their strategy sound. Yet, not all was smooth sailing. Users in big cities thrived, but those in rural areas struggled with fewer matches. User reviews were mixed, frequent app crashes, yet some found real connections, preferring CMB over other dating platforms. The sisters remain at the helm, continuously adapting and expanding their venture. Despite not securing a Shark Tank deal, Coffee Meets Bagel stands as a testament to believing in your product and knowing its worth.